Hello, Mr. Sheyi, your mic is muted. Hello, Mr. Sheyi, your mic is muted, so we can't hear you. If you check, can check your microphone, please. Hello, Mr. Shayi. Hello, I think I can hear some sound now. Okay. So, okay. I think that we're just expecting that to come true. One minute. Let's go. Yeah, Shay, can you say something? I think that your mic should be okay now. I think I can hear some background sound. Oh no, so it's not coming through yet. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think if you try to rejoin, maybe um, it's gonna work. Okay. So what? Okay, yeah. Let's let's see that. Me now. Yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but yeah, that's working now. Yeah. Thanks. Um... So, uh, sorry for that. Um, I say welcome back uh, after the intro showing what we are all about. And uh, the essence of this movement is to find a way where we connect um, people that has um, a little understanding of IT. They want to get into the IT world. Now, and look at stories from people that have started like that, how they were able to get bearing to their career drive. Also, we're going to find a way of connecting this of SPAT uh, to the mentees. Then um, we also want to look at the cloud technology generally uh, after the advent of the coronavirus, COVID-19. Um, so many things have changed. Uh, the way we look at our office space have changed, the way we look Look at technology general has changed. We now have a mobile files cloud for digital estate has changed over the time. What can we hear from these our mentors? What are things they're doing in order to acclimatize to this new change? We're also going to look at digital workspace. What is new? So that is what we achieve with this series. Now, owing to that fact, um, we ought to look at our group, we have the MCT Nigeria Technical uh, Technology User Group. We have over 15 user groups and more is coming. 
and uh, our primary focus is on Microsoft uh, defined products, the role based products, and uh, in, in terms of certification, in terms of the cloud, things that can enhance your productivity, give you more engagement by using M365, Dynamic 365 for ERP, and the Power BI, the Power platform, to be able to have a better way to view statistics, give data, and use that data and mining to data and AI. Then we also have part of the group in this MCC Niger group is the uh, the, the developers, which are the programming guys that comes around to tell us what the DevOps op is all about. And we also have the security and so many more. So our vision is to empower tech industry, a better way to solve problem, not just to learn, but also appreciate the way you can change this curve to bring about improvement. Let's now go to the to what we have today, our guests for today. Now, before I introduce this guest, I, I want to give you a little head, um, head up. These are people that I've worked with. Uh, these are people that I've knew for a few years, some of them for a longer time, some of them for the shorter time. But the advantage I got from those people, they are very wonderful mentors. And these are people you can connect with. If you're out there looking at looking for people to mentor you, somebody to guide you, somebody to give you advice on how to go about your IT pass, please look out for their contact and contact them. The first thing we are going to look at, which I have introduced earlier, is David. Although David today is not going to be on the main screen, he's going to be behind the screen. But is a good mentor, is someone that you can actually look out for for advice or information. Now, our main guest for today is Ayodeji for Larry. He's an MVP, he's an MCT, and also he is a, is an in, uh, is a business intelligence consultant at Jiri Computer Solution. I think has a background from the database in the years of um, in those 80s where you have all those cobots programming language. He has been in the forefront for a while. Um, he also engaged in data warehouse, data conversion. He, he also a data MVP from the data platform. He, he also championed the course of um, Power BI. He's a very super trainer. It's somebody that when we introduce him, when he talk about himself, you will see the, 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 the version of the mentorship that he has and what he can deliver to you. Now you can connect with him on this link, um, on his Twitter handle and also on his LinkedIn. The second one, the second person we are going to look at, second guest is Osasa Shukuwin. Chuku, I call it Chooks. Uh, it's an MCT, also um, a, um, a business intelligence analyst and also um, an M365 developer. Chooks has his background basically on business intelligence and also on how to utilize data to enhance the way you get analysis, the way you look at your business. And he has been working as a co-host for a group in Nigeria called the Power BI User Group. Now, I'm bringing these two people for people that has um, drive to look at the data area, the data industry, what they need to do. So let's hear the story from them. Now, I'll just uh, like them to come up and uh, also brief a brief um, um, introduction of themselves. While they are coming up, please, if you have any question for us, maybe you are a new IT, you are new to IT world, you are also uh, thinking of changing your career with data analyst or with BI, BI um, uh, part, please send this for guidance. We'll be waiting for your question and we're going to line them to our guests at the end of the day. Please, can you introduce yourself, sir? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, good evening, all. My name is Ayodeji 
for learning. Uh, Microsoft most valuable professional on data platform and Microsoft certified trainer and what else? A BI developer, a database administrator and developer, and also um, into programming. Thank you very much. Thank you, Deji, for that. Um, we now move on to uh, Chris. Chooks, sorry. Chooks, you know, you are, your name can be formed as Chris Chooks, you know, as it goes. Uh, All so right. Please, can you just introduce yourself? Okay, so can you hear me, can you all hear me now? Yes, we can hear you, Chooks. Okay, so thank you, Shayu, for the introduction. So uh, my name is um, Osai Chukute. So you can also call me Chu, as um, Mr. Shei as um, rightly said. I am a, a business intelligence analyst. A M365 developer. Thing you want to do around the the power automate, the power uh, anything that has to do with the power platform. I I think um, you you got um, uh, the right the right guy. So I mm -hmm. am also an MCT, a trainer with a demonstrated um, history working in, um, in information technology and service industry. So um, it's good uh, to be here with you all. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chooks. And uh, I'll still maintain my Chooks, if you don't mind. <laughs> it's easier <laughs> no for me. <laughs> now, uh, one thing about uh, our program is to be able to look at what drives you as a human being, what makes you who you are, how do you get to the point of uh, choosing IT, especially from the business area, the business intelligence. So um, the first question we are going to ask, and we, that question is going to go to Mr. Ayo Deji, and that question is, um, what do you think is the best advice we can give to help someone that is looking at the way of changing career to IT, and he um, just doesn't want to work. You know, it, one thing we saw in our coming up in our own um, development track, we noticed that um, we are uh, we we just want to work to end. But the best approach to a career is to work in a way that you are happy and you are glad you are doing what you are doing. And that can as well give you what, a way by which you can approach it. Now, maybe before the question, let's just tell you, tell us about your story, Mr. Ayodeji. Before you answer the question, tell us about your story. How do you get into IT? Let's start from there. What okay. was your drive when you got to the IT? Okay, thank you very much, Shiyi. So my story is actually is a very long one, but I'll try to cut it short. Well, I when I was in secondary school, all my dream, my passion is to actually be a an engineer. A database or anything that has to do with IT is never on the line. But something special happened, and I put in to become an electrical engineer, electrical electronics, to study that in school. But for the first time in that school, there they they just created a department called it department and they happened to push some of us that selected related courses like statistics electrical electronics they moved some of us to that department we are the first set of it department in that school but i never wanted to go for that course fortunately for me i met a guy that is ready to switch career they told me we only allow you to go back to electrical electronics under one condition, and that condition remains, are you ready? I do have somebody that is ready to swap with you. And I saw this guy, I said, guy, are you ready to swap? He said, he's ready. But why do you like IT so much? When he spent about 30 minutes telling me all what IT have in stock for the future, he said, okay, let's go ahead. I said, I'm no more swapping. Just let me, let me remain in my IT. You go back to your electrical electronics. And that was how I started until today. It's been a wonderful one. And I enjoy doing what I'm doing as far as IT is concerned. And I've been able to move from what we're taught in school because it's two different things entirely. 
what were your thought A in school? But when we got out there, we saw Z. So we have to actually see how to adapt, develop myself. I'm still very much relevant in the industry. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Deji. Now, uh, from what I got from you, um, you were just uh, someone that wants a career in you want to study electrical electronics as an undergraduate and uh, exactly. uh, the school at that time now pushed you to computing and exactly. uh, you were able to get someone to talk to you about what entails in the IT and that was the passion that came on so someone actually like give you a mentorship uh, a clamorous mentorship advice that you are able to use to change. That's 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 a very great. Uh, uh, um, so, what can you advise people now, if they are planning to have a career, rather than just to say want to study electrical electronics, as uh, because maybe then saw your friends in the electrical field and you said you want to join them. So, what can you advise people? What are the steps that motivated you at that time? Okay, fine. So, well, as far as I'm concerned, the major thing that matters is your interest, your passion. What do you want to do? You can become whatsoever you want to become, but everything starts from within. Nobody can actually push you to become something. So, the very first thing is that drive and the passion. And after that, you have to shut a path to get to the peak of your career. So as far as IT is concerned, everything that has been driving me is to solve a problem. I have a problem I needed mm. to solve. And I am the type that look, I like it or not, I want to get to the end. And I want to get this, I mean, this problem solved. And as a programmer, you don't have option. If you really want to enjoy your career as a developer, then you must keep solving problems. So sometimes I'll be sleeping, I will just, the solution will just come in, jump up and move. All what I was doing is nurturing that passion that is in me, trying to grow and become something in that industry. And before I know it, I became one of the well-known programmer in those days. Before I now decide to leave programming for something smaller, that is things around database administration, especially so that is all and i will encourage anybody that wants to go this path the first thing the person needs is that passion internal drive and don't let anybody condemn that internal drive in you if you want mm. to become number one in the industry it starts with you not with the other party so you are the one that is going to drive whatsoever you have within you and you are ready to push it to the end thank you mm. Now, I get you, you mentioned drive and ability to maintain your course, being focused, and don't allow people to easily sway you from what your passion is. So it's exactly. not just about getting the work, um, getting a job, but having a passion to solve problems, being pushed to solve problems internally, also encourage the way you look at your development. Thank you, Mr. Yodeji. Now we're going to go to Mr. Chooks. Mr. Chooks, can you tell us your story? How did you get you are? Now, let me give, give you a background of Mr. Chooks. And when you see Mr. Chooks, he's a very rugged man. And I had a development meeting with him. The guy has multiple jobs he's doing, but his passion for IT is can still if anytime wake up to start working even around one mr chooks tell us your story what brought you to this point i think you are muted if you can hear me we can't hear you here okay so can you hear me now yes we can I go ahead okay so i want to go as far back as um when i gained admission as a banking and finance student so actually i i told line of banking and finance unlike um 
unlike uh, Messiah Deji that was in the line of um, ID from the beginning. But I, I went for banking and finance, both ND and HND. But um, something, uh, uh, there was a twist while I was in, in my HND. I discovered that so many of my colleagues, they, they, because when I was in school, then I run a business center. So, so many of my colleagues, then they, they come to me, they do the assignment. So I have the, I have the opportunity of um, doing most of their projects, that is their, their final year project. And the most interesting part of it is um, the chapter four that has to do with analysis. And um, I discovered that anytime I do, I use um, uh, the um, I use SPSS for for analysis. So I discovered that anytime I do analysis, if they take it to our HOD, the HOD will always tend to approve what I do. So ever since then, I pick interest when it comes to um, uh, when it comes to data data analysis. But immediately I graduated, I was able to contact. Um, um, uh, Mr. Yodeji, who has to be, um, um, uh, uh, who is my mentor and also is in the house today. So, um, uh, so uh, I'm very happy that. Uh, it's I'm a privilege. Active. It's a privilege. <laughs> it's a serious privilege, and that is why you see me that all through. I, I keep on shining my teeth. If you can see it, um, right on the, <laughs> on the screen. So, so um, it was the one that brought me into the, brought me to the industry. Um, uh, um, of data analytics, and ever since then, I have been coming into the industry, even switching from my um, uh, uh, my career before, which was um, banking and finance, into the data analytics. And ever since then, and like I said, it has been an exciting and uh, wonderful moment. Mm. That's, that's a wild story. You, you wear a bank <laughs> you had, <laughs> I was telling some people some and I said 90s when you say you are into you are a banker they, they drop their cap you know why if you notice those days it's banker with a very neat shape they are always on point they were they were in, in kind of the industry they are well paid yeah, that's, but that's true. you think because you do that at that time or I because you fell in love analysis especially using SPSS. that is a very great thing you are still you um let's okay. move to mr Yodi. now the question we want to ask mr Yodi is that for you how do you encourage innovation yes because you mentioned something very very spelling you said you like solving problems now if i am a regular person in an IT industry, and um, I was able to get a job, maybe as you um, said, and I want to be innovative because changes has come and it will stay. Technology is changing every day. How do I encourage innovation? My passion. Okay, so thank you very much, Shayi. What I would like to say here is this you cannot keep doing the same thing and you expect a change in the industry or a change about that thing. I can't keep doing something the same way and I expect something magical to happen. Now, when we talk about innovation, it's just about being creative. I have been able to do this. I have been able to achieve this. Don't stop where you are. Don't be comfortable where you are. Raise the bar and try as much as possible to cross that bar wherever you find yourself once you have this idea sit down with it nurture it and start re start carrying out research study about it and I always tell anybody that comes my way that look if you want to get to the peak of anything or you want to solve any problem try to devote religiously few hours on daily basis on that particular thing if it's one hour every day, keep doing it around that. Then before you know it, you will find that you have actually moved. And also, let me say this. If you keep hitting a rock with hammer, 
don't forget that all those heats, maybe about 20 heats of the armor on that rock, did not really matter. But there is one that will break the rock. That is the last hit. Please, it's not the last hit that matters. It's the, all the ones that you have been placing on that rock that matters. Not only your, your, your ideas, your innovation, it's all about determination, making up your mind to give it time every day, and try not to remain in the same position. If you have crossed a bridge, don't rest there. Set another bar for yourself and keep crossing so that you can get your vision even to limelight. Thank you. Now, keep moving. Keep you, 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 you use an analysis of um, um, breaking the rock. Now, that means for a rock, you notice that the impact on the rock can only be felt after continuous eats. So exactly. don't give up on what you want to do. Keep doing it, keep pressurizing it, keep developing yourself, keep reading. Keep You can join user group like we are there to ensure that you develop yourself, increase what you want, and your understanding will also pay at the long run. Now, still coming to you, Deji. You have said, eat the rock. Tell us your personal style. How do you, you know, I've seen you training in several um, encounter I had with you was uh, the day we are in, the, I remember when we were in Dubai and uh, yeah, we were yeah. giving a short presentation and everybody was saying, wow, wow, wow. And uh, what is this style? What, you know, do you adapt yourself to this point that wherever you get on stage, or wherever you are trying to tell people about the technology you know, trying to develop technology, there is a way people will say wow to you. Can you tell us what is your style, your personal style? Okay, so thank you very much. Now, one thing I would like to say about my style is I try to be myself. The problem most of us always have in this industry is trying to be somebody else. Don't ever try to copy. I don't want to be like Sheyi. I don't want to be like Shooks. I want to be myself. Keep it simple. Be yourself. Be natural with what you do. And when you are natural, then you can flow. Number two, if you have a good knowledge of what you want to talk about, you find out that the energy to speak is there. But if you don't have good knowledge, Fear will even disturb you from speaking or from presenting. Now, so all these facts really matters. Now, all what that really push me up there and get me going is number one, I have the passion on what I want to talk. About. Number two, I am ready to talk about what I know so well. Number three, I am myself. And there is something about me. I for for over thirty years now. I love playing with kids. I find myself in the children department in my church. I keep playing with them because I play with them. Even if I'm teaching, that same character is already in me. And before we know it, we keep. I keep playing. I mean, teaching, illustrating, and playing when I'm doing all these things. Now, put all these things together, they've added value to the way I deliver my training or my speech. Thank you. Okay, okay. so what, what I can from what you said now is that um, your fundamental approach is to look at your relation with kids, how you uh, talk to them, also enable you to create a passion on them, and uh, uh, um, a, a way by which you, you can um, and uh, ensure they are at the right track. If I can get you correct, exactly. So style, with not the just style is from the your way technology, you train but children. Also, mm, also, choose kids you talk to. Your environment also have an impact to make your style 
more, more, more glaring. Now, let's go to Mr. Choose. And uh, so I have a question for you. You said you have a mentor. And uh, although this question was for, uh, for your space, especially from your background, the database. Now, how do you choose this path? For what you said in your story is that when you were run, um, when you are in this, um, when you finish your career, or when you are about to finish your career in banking and finance in school, you were you happen to to um, to explore a solution called SPSS. I've used that solution before, and I always tell of my story. The day we did, if you use that analysis in those days, and the MD come out to tell you what is the gross growth of mobile phone over using computer at those days, it was like a line slide to, to get business. So from what you said, you also have a mentor, which is Deji. How did this mentor influence you? And how do you now choose this career of business analysis? Uh, thank you very much, Shei. Um, like I Like I rightly said before, I have been I have been working with um, this, um, I've been working with SPSS and in as much as I'm working with it, I have this, I have the passion to, to always do analytics. But the moment he, the moment I was with um, Mr. Yodeji after my, after my youth service, he, he just gave me a note that I should come to his office to, to see him. And then, and that was how we we started to introduce first of all Microsoft Excel, and that also arose my interest because then while I was using um, that SPSS, I also went online to search and see that you can also use Microsoft Excel to achieve exactly the same thing you are doing with um, SPSS. So that actually spur up my spur up my um, my. My, my curiosity to learn more of um, more of SPSS and after much coaching, after much um, uh, much coaching from uh, Mr. Yodeji, I was able to go for my professional exam in in, um, in uh, uh, that MOS in um, Excel. I smashed the course about nine hundred and nine hundred and wow. um, uh, sixteen score over mm -hmm. so that also arose my curiosity to see okay what is actually happening what's the next step like he said continue to what continue to read do not stop and that was how i pushed for that to 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 see how i can um be certified as as an uh, um, uh, in a power bi and that was how i was able to also make sure i, I did both the exams and that's how I became MCT today. So it has been, it has, um, is, it has been is um, mentoring all the way that has actually pushed me to to this um, to this point. So being with him on this program, like um, Shei said, is a, a what is a privilege. So um, that is that is um, that uh, that. Mm, Chooks, thank you for that input. So what you are really saying is that. Now, in IT career, sometimes you cannot avoid having a mentor. Now, the mentor for your own um, story was able to influence you to move from one stage to another. You started with MOS in Excel. Then there was more curiosity as Microsoft introduced Power BI. You went to have certification. Not only did you um, follow his guide in terms of production, you also did some certification exam to solidify your knowledge and what you get you can hear very fans you can hear you can hear what chuck said he was able to discern what, what he needs to do from when he was in college immediately he saw that analysis is what he is and he was able to get there now as a set of people that also joined us this afternoon they actually uh, young teenagers have been taken out to navigate to the cloud technology and they want to say hi to everybody hello samuel and your group can we see you guys 
ओके Okay. Um, let's move ahead. Uh, now I have another question before we actually go for break. Uh, we have a short five minutes break before question that I want to ask both um, Deji and um, I'm going to ask both Deji and um, Chu. How do you balance um, work life? Uh, you know. Um, how do you balance your work and home life? How do you go about it? Now, for books, as I said before, my encounter with Chooks is a very dynamic uh, uh, encounter where Chooks was doing a business of Uber. He was developing at night. And I keep wondering how does this guy balance his work and home life? Chooks, please. Can you tell us about yourself? Are you, are you married? How do you balance this? All right, thank you, Shayi. Um, <laughs> like uh, like he said, I I am a person that multitask a lot, and um, I'm married with two kids, a boy wow. and a girl. So I. I do. I do ensure I um, I position my timing in such a way that I will be able to meet up with every with every aspect. So if there are some things that I know that I can't do during the day, I will make sure I have enough rest close to the night and then wake up midnight to ensure that some of those things are some of those things are done. And um, I. I also make sure I make out time, especially um, in the weekends, Sundays for my for my family, so that I can always have good good time with them. So with that, I am I'm able to I'm able to balance all these um, things up. Okay, thank you, uh, Chooks. Um, now you are just taking me back to David. Now said count Saturday out of it. I can only have time in the evening. As far as the money, I with my wife and we are going out Deji, how do you balance it uh you know we are we, we walk through the night you wake up in the morning how do you balance this because there are so many people there they are open to be in our field in the in, in the years to come how do can they balance their work life and home life okay thank you very much Shayi. now for me number one middle of december till end of december is no go area we always i always have a vacation with my family so if you always check my calendar there is nothing that from 16th nothing will get into my calendar the 16th of december till the end in fact till early january that is one and number two every last sunday of every month it's always an outing day for the family. And every Sunday, if I will see the way I look forward to Sundays, because I'm a Sunday school teacher in my church, every Sunday, it's like I'm happy I'm going to meet with these young ones. So it's like that's a good time for me to really enjoy myself with kids. I love being around kids, and I love doing drama. In fact, I was a drama director for NCCF Castina in 1999. When we served in mm. Castina State, so I enjoy doing things around drama. If I see a place that I'm doing as I just want to watch or I want to be part of them. If I see children, I want to be part of them. My kids at home, we tell story. I see this storyline, test by test by moonlight, the way we do it. So this is what I have passion for, and I keep doing it. Not only with my kids, with children around. In fact, my house 
it's like a a children day every sunday they come around we tell story we talk we play so that's a one way of really easing tension because as it people if you are too and gross if you don't draw the line my brother you'll be you just keep thinking about it it all your life and it's not too good for the system thank, thank you that uh, thank you star your deji and uh, now folks uh, you can hear all the way from uh, someone that has over 20 years of experience in it he said there is time for rest there is time to have a family hour that it's time to be able to cushion the pressure you have in the office, in your development room, on your lap, and you want to have spend time with your family. Please, these are things you need to put in mind. We are going to go, um, we are actually going to go for a short, short break. And uh, during in this break, we are going to look at some mentors you can connect with. And those mentors are people that you are, are, it's going to be it's going to be scrolling up now. People that you can just check their LinkedIn on their Twitter, and you can connect with them. They have been speakers for events in West Africa. There have been people that we have called upon when it comes to technology, feed on what we need to know. So we'll be back next 15 minutes. Please just stay tuned and look at this methods. Methods. Meet our methods.
Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, for for we have all this line we have of, all this line of uh, mentors that you, mentors that you can connect with. You can actually connect with them by looking at those that have their LinkedIn and um, ensure you can talk to them and make more as the program continue every month now we're going to look at the final question which is going to go to chooks and um dg and that question because we are gradually going, getting to the end um, um i don't know whether chooks or did you have written any book or you have any blog that you want people to go over to know more uh, about you or what you do Okay, so thank you very much. I am not really a good writer, but when it comes to video, so I have lots and lots of video out there. So just type MCT Niger Power BI user group. So or just type Power BI Saturday. MCT Niger Power BI Saturday on YouTube. You get to our channel. We have series of videos that can bring you from beginner level to a professional level. So all our videos, you will see them there, and we have this particular one: ten days, ten days back to back RBI training. So that is a good startup. So we have those videos out there, and my website still remains digifolaring.com. So on my website, there are lots and lots of things there. You see blog, you see some of our past projects, you see the handle to all my social media handles, link to my social media handles. Thank you very much. Okay, so if you want to get more details about books or video or blog that DG has, just go to um, DG Polari, um, just type it on Google, you'll be able to get in and get the link to get to his website to be able to see. And um, you can see the MCT Niger Power BI has been displayed on the chat where you can actually see all those videos for your own consumption. Now, as we gradually come to the end of this series, um, we don't know whether there is any question out there that you want to ask. Please, David, do you have any question? If you if you want to, um, if you have any question, you can type it out and uh, we can have it roll out for the two um, guests to answer. Is there any question? Now, while we wait for your question, we also want to uh, give you a preview of some group that you can easily join and their link um, if you want to join security group security user group is actually a group that help you to look at things that pertain to IT and security and they have a whatsapp group that you can easily join as you can see here then we have the database guys the SQL database and they call it's called MC Niger SQL pass you can join them and also get more knowledge of how uh, you can work with uh, with detailing when it comes to database and how to use it for analysis. Then we have the Power BI, which um, they have talked about, and Chooks, which is more of the business intelligent environment, and you want to have your career that at that point, you can join this group, look at the link there, and try to type it out and join the group for on that and um, if you are into ERP and you want to, to learn more you want to have a career path understanding how you can run your financial your financial model understanding how you can get more flow that can relate from your field 
to your business and to your finance. You can join the Dynamics 365 user group, and that is the link for you to join it. Then if you are into the cloud space, and that is where Azure is, we have the Nigeria, Nigeria Azure community. <laughs> this group is where we have about three of those groups, and we have different of it. There is the one that is led by Uche and CG, and the one that is led by Paul. There are others that are led, so they are all interwoven, a very robust express group. So you can join, just click on this and join them. Then we have the, the entry system is when you are looking at productivity. You will know how you want to have document, uh, um, document workflow, you want to understand how to develop that. You can actually join the MCT, the Niger MC365 user group. Then if you are into the no code, no code called the Power Platform, um, I don't have their link here, but you, we have that group too. Then if you are into Power BI, you want to learn anything on Power BI as a community, there's a link on Meetup that you can actually join, which is led by Michael Olufusi. We have the Azure Data and AI User Group, this combination of the database and also on the AI platform, which is led by myself and IODG. You can see the link, you can also join that group. Then if you're a lady and you want to learn how you can have, how you can use technology as a lady, there is a group we have called the Textilers. The Textilers, these women in tech. That is the link. You can join them on Meetup, where the emphasis is how to empower young ladies, women, to be able to be dynamic in using IT. Now, So hello everyone. So apologies for that. I think that she's connection dropped. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so I think that she's connection dropped. So it's really been a pleasure being with you all today. So I hope you got something out of this. So thanks very much for joining us. We really do appreciate it. Um, a wonderful thanks to um, Mr. Deji and to Chooks for the amazing information that you shared with us. Um, it's been really awesome. So we've learned a lot. Uh, there's a lot of quotes. There's a lot of inspirational information uh, that you shared with us, and, and we really appreciate that. And also, we want to give a big thanks to the amazing audience that's watching us, so from, from the community, so the young people that are currently watching us. So we really appreciate you taking the time to join us. So um, thanks very much uh, for, for joining us today. Um, do you have any question before we leave for our guest at all? Do you have any question at all? Right, any question at all? So I think I should probably just give Mr. DG the last word. So Mr. DG, here we have young people that are currently watching us live, right? And they are, they are the next generation. They are the next generation of uh, startup founders, of, you know, ent ent entrepreneurs um, in, in Africa and cloud developers and cloud engineers. What's your last word for them? Uh, and then we'll round up for today. Okay, thank you very much, David. My last word for you guys is you can become what or who you want to be. When I was growing up, I had the passion to be better than Bill Gates because I found out that Bill Gates is doing a lot of things. And before I know it, I started building my own spreadsheet application. Then we are using it to turn to three. I was building my spreadsheet application Microsoft, this Microsoft Excel, I just have to pack it up and say, look, 
let me see what else I can do. So guys, you can become whatsoever you want to become. Once you have the passion, I can see people looking at me presently now. I can see you guys on this local t-shirt and I can see a generation of developers that will turn the gener this, this country and the continent and the world as, as a whole to turn it around for the best. So guys, let's let us go and we'll get there. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. So Samuel, you mentioned that there is a question. Do you want to unmute and read the question? Or do you want to uh, what do you want to do? Awesome. So I think that we may have a, a question for, for you, Mr. DJ, before we go for today. Okay, please. So, go ahead. So Samuel, so the mic is currently not unmuted, so I'm not sure we can't really hear you. Uh Samuel. Sir, sure. as an student, what are my chances of Sir? Okay, yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. So sorry, can you repeat the question? Sir, as an art student, what are my chances of working in the night world? Oh my good God. As an art student, what are your chances? Yes. Look, Shooks has given us a good example. Shooks is a commercial student. He studied banking and finance in school. Today is a developer. He's using this low code platform. The t-shirt you are wearing, everything on that t-shirt is what Shoes is using. So it's all about your passion. If you are an art student and you love to do graphics, there is a space for you in IT. If you love to do something around development, there's a space for you in IT. If you have something around networking, robotic, please don't let that idea die inside you bring it out. IT is going to push your idea to another level. The space is big. In Yoruba, we say, Oju Oru to a year full life, Yara Kora. Come on, guys. Let's go there. Thank you. Awesome. awesome. And, uh, I want to ask another question. Go ahead. As you. Azure. Azure. Okay, so Azure is actually a platform, a cloud platform by Microsoft. So, all what you do on your computer, if you decide not to own a computer, you can transfer all what you do into the cloud and operate 100% from the cloud. So, Azure is a platform for you to do whatever you want to do. If you decide not to have it on your laptop or in your house, I can put all my work in the cloud. So Azure is a cloud space by Microsoft to allow you to deliver whatsoever you want to deliver. I hope I've answered your question in a layman language. Yes. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank sir, you. I have another question. Please go ahead. Sir, what are the chances of you starting when, in, like, immediately after you finish secondary school? When did after you finish secondary school or... Finish okay, good. Now, what I will tell you, I will tell you that once you have, you have the passion, you have the zeal to do something, don't wait till you graduate from university. I said something, devote time. It's not going to disturb your academy. If you decide to devote one hour to not show your, your passion every day, by the time you are leaving secondary school, by the time you are leaving university, you are already a leader in the industry. So I will tell you, now is the time. If I have this opportunity, I graduated 1999 from school and I started struggling after graduation. Imagine that when around 1991, when I got into secondary school, if I started doing what you guys are doing, by now, I will be about 10 years ahead what I'm doing now. So you guys, you are welcome into the industry. Now is the time. Don't wait. In other countries, your competitor, they are doing something better. Now, if you see the robotic, if you see AI, so many things they are bringing up. You guys, this is the best time. And you are fresh now. You have the time before you get married and children will start disturbing you. Put in your best now and turn the industry around. Thank you, guys. Awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So thanks very much. I can see that Mr. Shea is back. So Mr. Shea, you've just been answering. Mr. DJ has been wonderfully 
in light fashion answering questions um, of of the amazing uh, young young people and talent that are currently watching us. So I think that it's time to round up for today. So Mr. Shea, you over to you to round up. Yeah. Yes, um, we are closing the curtain for today, and um, we are glad to make people to give us their own story and to to guide us in knowing what we need to do. So my take home, and that's why I'm sending to everybody, is that when you have a rock, you keep hammering the rock until you have it beaten into pieces. When you have a passion, keep nurturing your passion, keep learning, keep training until you have the best out of what you have. I say, have a nice day, have a nice weekend, and we're going to see all of you next month, for the next edition, with some two different dynamic people one from Ghana, who lives in UK, and one from Nigeria. Have a blessed day. Thank you, guys. Bye. <laughs>